Hi, Beavis and Butthead. Oh, I love that idea. I love it. I love it. Um, Top Gun. Mm, my heart, my heart. What um, what interests you? Tell me. Outside of the movies. Well, there's a lot of dumb things. Mm. Uh, slapping Chris Rock. Mmm, so that's how you like it, hmm? <laughs> I can do that one more time. Tom, would you serenade me a song with your lovely singing voice? <laughs> please, please. <laughs> uh, For a beautiful damsel like me. <laughs> Sky rockets in flight. Afternoon delight. Uh, afternoon delight. Oh, afternoon delight. Don't mind if I do, <laughs> but boy. Okay, Tommy boy. Now that we're at your home, why don't you show me some of that afternoon delight? <laughs> All right.
Welcome back to the Tuck and Roll Show. Yeah. We invite some people on. I threw the link on Twitter. And uh, we'll just see who pops up. And if they're cool, they can stay on the show. But if they're not, they get to tuck and roll. This ain't no karaoke, bitch. If I got to tuck and roll, I guess I got to tuck and roll. But, uh, <laughs> no DBS. All right, Sorry, DBS. DBS. I'm going to put you in thanks, the back. Put thanks you in the back for having room. me on. <laughs> oh, cut him off there. That was that was nice. That was sharp, mate. That was whoa. This is the Tuck and Roll show, <laughs> buddy. We don't, we, don't, we don't play around. And I exposed your ass right here on the Tuck and Roll show. Tuck and Roll, bitch. This shit makes it smooth just like Bisquick. Now dip shit, so we're trying to get with this dick. Put a tell my rhyme so you can wipe off the lipstick. This is an ass so hard to make your rear spasm. Curling witness to a full blown orgasm. Makes a hottie shake a body, but shit drama copy. I got moves like karate, smooth tuck and some yaki. Now we got the party turned up, pop it like a pistol. Shots of a cottage champagne in the crystal. Check him up by the bullet, catch up by the pistol. Bitch, make my drink and don't forget the lemon twist. Oh, must be the news to get me laid today. I got the girls hooked like a Smithy Shade spray. Woo! Keep it hunted like a sea note. Radio rap biz, the cancer so dub. But you keep on the beat in your seat, down to your toes. Fucking flow from the snow, bitch, tug and roll. No ho shit, I fuck boys at the show. And if you bitch on the bullshit, tuck and roll. Shit drops, come fuck with the snow, kick rocks. It's Lethal's giant dick. They get scared and they run off. Eh, pretty much, you know. I'm still waiting on the cheerleader. She hasn't shown up yet. I can check the chimney. She might be wedged up there. Oh, is that what that smell is? <laughs> I promise to bump the whole bump if you make it tuck your own. Get up on the dance floor, yeah, on the double bitch. Your girl got my trunk and snub the love the kids. Loving the kids, some I don't understand. If the party was a beach, you bring I got away with nipples a couple of times on YouTube and didn't get in trouble. Just say. <laughs> Welcome back to the Tuck and Roll Show. That's right, Jolly the Patriotic Puppet. I'm on the mic. I'm coming in hot. And uh, we got some serious drama in YouTube land out there, folks. Yeah, yeah we're going to talk about it. We're going to get uh, down to the bottom of this and see what's going on. But first, I want you to notice I pinned a little comment right there in the chat. If you would, Give it a little look-see. It's Drunk 3PO's brand new book. It's uh, it's a children's book, yes, but it's um, pretty cool. It's like over 200 pages, and um, it's all about the color blue. And, well, you know, your favorite puppet's blue, so I figured I might as well plug the damn thing, right? <laughs> so anyway, give it a look. If you like it, you think you want one, check it out. Maybe uh, maybe throw them a couple bucks. Of course, um, uh, one of the higher tiers uh, actually makes it where you donate one of the books to charity as well for children in need. Because as we know, Drunk 3PO works with a lot of kids. So yeah, there's our little plug. So um, I'll leave that link right there at the top of the chat. Get around to it when you can. Uh, and Jolster appreciates it. Uh, we do what we can to help old drunk out and so far so good. It looks like his campaign is doing really well. By the way, we got a ton of shirts in. They just got here. The shipment just got in. So all you winners, all you members, that's right. Throw them jolly emojis up because your t-shirts are coming in the mail this week. Yeah. All right. And we'll be doing a drawing here pretty soon, uh, later this month to find out for some more winners of a t-shirt. Uh, that's just the way this channel thanks you for being a member, and you too could be a member of the Cotton Connection. Just hit that join button down there. Only a couple bucks a month really helps out the channel. We appreciate it, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we got to bring on the beautiful, sexy, lovely co-host. That's right. Oh, man, she's looking hot tonight. Let's get a good gander at the lovely... Se Hi, sexy. Hey, gorgeous. What did you... Where's where's Piper? This is, um, hmm. Piper uh, Dune. There's a Piper Dune. Oh, did you? Did she's I, Stephanie's Piper. Rock fan. Piper, where are you? Oh, there you are. She's that, she's here. I don't see you on the on the schedule here. Uh, I, well, <laughs> welcome, seventies rock fan. How how are you doing tonight? Uh, welcome oh, to the Tucker Roll Show. I'm awesome. Yes, good to and see you, you, my friend. 
Uh, well, no, I, I'm good. Uh, everybody's here. Slap the like button. I'm sure a few more puppets and friends will be showing up here. Slap eventually. that fat and ride the ripples. That's what I say. That too. I'm glad I got you here, 70s, because there's been something I've been itching to ask you. Well, you should see a doctor and get some lotion from that, I would believe, is the, the right thing to do. Uh, no, it's not that. Oh, no, not that itching. I, no, I, I took the penicillin. We're good. Nah. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I, actually, I was wondering about the movie Braveheart, you know, because uh, I heard you might know a little bit of lore, and um, is any of that shit true? Like, or, yeah, or well, it all bullshit? it's about really, originally, they did change the story, but originally it was about a Scotsman called Phil McCavity. Oh, and yes. his struggle against the Welsh patriarchy. Phil McCavity. So, yes. did did he have problems with Richard Cranium by chance? He did, and and he was also fighting against Patrick Fitzgerald and Gerald Fitzpatrick quite right. a lot because you know we have a contentious relationship with the Irish. So all those guys were kind of working together in a very close relationship. Hail seventies Piper Man says, <laughs> "Awesome one." <laughs> Yeah, so it was all really a struggle against um, somebody sleeping with somebody's wife, and mm -hmm. um, well, as as the great Mel Gibson said, you know, they can take our freedom, but they'll never take our pants. Except he was wrong; they did take our pants. Sons of bitches! Uh, so that was a old, failure. That was old nasty King Long. Long shanks or long, long shanks. rod. And he was particularly known for inserting his long rod into the Scottish mm -hmm. wives. Um, Bastard. Indeed. He had some hot wives, you know. Like, he yeah, did, but... Right yeah, and he also... But, the, you know, it's it's fairly, fairly un, unrealistic movie because, quite frankly, most of the Scots were hammered, so how the hell could they ever fight... Effectively, I mean, all they were, it's just you know, they were too drunk most of the time. So, you're saying you got your ass kicked? We did most of oh. the time, yes. Mm -hmm. There was a pretty much a large ass kicking was going on, but as mm. I say, they didn't know because they were drunk anyway. Well, the movie's uh, still cool, you know, even it's though... a good movie. Every Scotsman, yeah. it's fun fight, every Scotsman in existence has been in that movie somewhere, is in that movie. No, shit. there's not that many of us, there's only about 14 people, so right. So we've all right. been in it. And they're all at that one tavern. That's right, yes. And nobody wanted to pay the the bill, the bar bill. You notice that? There was a lot of furtive Lucas looks going on. No one's like, who's going to get stuck with the bill? I think I actually just got that bill in the mail. Yes, indeed. <laughs> it's reparations. Sons of reparations. Bitches. But I'm English. so that. <laughs> well, exactly. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense then. I yeah. mean... Forefathers fucked your wives. Yeah, Got it. Yeah. Yeah, I owe you, I owe you I think, a little change. As as the the movie probably didn't make clear enough, the common enemy was not the English. The common enemy was the Norman knights and the rich and ah. feudal, feudal overlords. So nothing's really changed. Right. Well, they're yeah. bastards anyway. You know. Indeed. Yeah. But I did enjoy that scene when Longshanks threw his son's uh, <clears throat> friend out of the window. Oh, that's that's a great scene. Actually, it's a great I, action scene. I thought felt. I think that had a lot of emotional impact. On the on the stone below. Well, that was um, one of our first uh, representation roles that we got. You know, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think they did it well. In fact, I got a clip. Let's take a look. Who is this person who speaks to me as though I needed his advice? I am skilled in the arts of war and military tactics. Hi. Tell me, what advice would you offer on the? Uh, present uh, oh. reminds me of the movie sudden impact yes yes um down and out in in the england hills no, no one could. No one could say that that Longshanks was not um, an equal opportunity hater because he hated and oppressed everybody. So it wasn't picking on. He wasn't picking on any one group in particular. So he'd throw anybody out the window if you pissed him off. That's right, including himself if he was angry at himself that day. Wow, now that's ruthless. You see, we need that kind of leadership around here. I think that's right. Rough and toothless. That's what he was. Yes, rough and toothless. You know, I mean, Joe tough and ruthless. 
Old Joe Biden, he should have thrown his ass out of the window about four or five times by now. Just saying. But, you know, um, I don't think he, uh, Ed, I don't think the whole thing with, with the French wife uh, getting knocked up by William Wallace was true either in, in reality. Um, because he would have worn a big uh, sheep's intestine as a condom because the Scots invented that, you know. I heard about that. Actually, my grandpappy uh, uh, passed one down. It's a family tradition. Yes, uh, we actually, we actually. It, it, to be fair, the English invented the use of the sheep's intestine as a condom, but the Scots perfected it by leaving it in the sheep. Wow. So. Well, mine's reusable. <laughs> we just rinse it out. Um, so well, that, that works just, pretty good. As long as you hang it, hang, as long as you air dry it, you're good. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, we got a we got a lot of friends here uh, in the chat. Uh, got Brandon, the anime guy here, and Leia Rose, and Papa Cotton. Uh, wow, I, I slapped that like button. Marty Ella's in the house. E. Clay Tomlinson. I see awesome one here. Random Brad, he's laughing. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> and then uh, I see Brian Gill here. That's, that's, a, that's a name I haven't seen in the chat yet. But uh, mm. welcome, Brian Gill. Slap that like button. All right. Yeah, he's a, he's a co-worker of Snow Dubs. Uh, they slang paint together. Yeah. I see. All right. Uh, Papa Cotton, let's see. Memes of Destruction. Peter Vakeman in the house. I think, uh, I think I grabbed just about everybody. Elizabeth Young, hello. Brandon, the enemy guy. Uh, awesome one. Yeah. The lovely Sherry is here. Oh, the lovely Sherry. I'll show her my spot in later, I think. The Lost Wanderer. We got Nighthawk in the house. Nice t-shirt, crappy team because they lost really badly today. So, hey. Shinotsky. He's nice. right. Shinotsky is right. Boldness is sexiness, particularly if uh, not just boldness in the head, boldness everywhere. Andy Masterson, DJ Ronnie G. Yeah, no, that's cool. I, I don't really have that problem, but um, Mr. Cool does, but we don't make fun of him. It's all good. It's all good. We don't discriminate around here. Jolly nope. 3PO. I hate everybody equally. Yes. Stay and right. myself. Thing too. Just like El Perro. Yep. Got a lot in common. Yeah, who that. is that lap dog? That weird lap know. dog. He's got a new movie coming out. Uh, Machete Dog. What do you think of that? I, as long as the machete is being used on him, then I'm all for it. Hmm. Well, it's going to go head to head with Cocaine Bear. I don't know how it's going to do. <laughs> machete <laughs> Dog versus Cocaine Bear. That would be That's funny, right. <laughs> Maybe we're going to have a mashup. You know? We could have a, another, th I think we should have a savage sheep in there too. Right, right. Savage that by, a particularly, by a particularly evil sheep. <laughs> so uh, I, I, <clears throat> I got something I got to show you here, 70s. And, uh, well, please, uh, there may be children watching. So. I, there is probably, but uh, tell them to look away because this is graphic. Uh, but I need your opinion and I need, I need the opinion in the chat because... The Cotton Connection is trying to be more diverse, right? So we're trying to stay with the times. Um, so that's why we hired Mike Roch, obviously. Um, he's a little strange, but he he has his place. Uh, but here's the thing, 70s. Uh, we got breaking news, okay? Oh, I saw this earlier. This is... Um, so if this is what the perfect woman looks like, no wonder I've been chasing imperfect women all these years. I keep, yeah. wait, I keep waiting for it to scream out it likes Rocky Road. <laughs> is it Halloween already? Holy shit. Talk about Fright Night Part Jesus 2. Christ. For $76,000, I could get a hair transplant and look twice as good as that. I, I, I think if there was an ugly tree, this woman went through the Redwood Forest. <laughs> That's Chernobyl levels of ugly right there. Oh. What is it with the lips? I can never understand this this thing with the lips and the plastic surgery and the Botox on the lips, and it ends up making them look like two large sausages. If that's seventy six thousand dollars, imagine what five dollars would have got her. <sighs> yes, and and yeah, a, a married man married to to what or to who? Oh. To to another to to who? I mean, I'm, try, I'm trying to be more more accepting 70s, but that wasn't a man or a woman. That was a 
that was a arch villain of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Absolutely, that's uh, that's something that you would see in perhaps the bottom of a swamp in the bayou uh, if you happen to fall in. <laughs> it's I, I, uh, seventy six thousand dollars is a lot of money. I mean, you could do a lot of good. You could do a lot of good with that money. I actually, I actually bumped into he, him, her at at, at the GameStop. Uh, I'll show you a clip. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. That's before the surgery, or is right. it after? I who can don't, tell? Maybe in the middle somewhere. I I actually think that the plastic surgeon should be getting sued for for um something there because seventy six thousand dollars should buy you a better look than that, no matter what the material that they're working with is in the first place. That's I, someone's getting ripped off here. I think I need a before picture because I I mean who knows you know it, yeah. she could have been like a mongoloid or something possibly born I mean, with cleft face well we don't maybe. know that's true we we don't right. know I mean but seventy six thousand dollars that could get you a lot of hookers and blow I mean come on you could use it for right. something useful yes I I mean oh, oh Jesus <laughs> cosplay has gone too far is what I, I think I think so yes yeah. yes. Yep. Um, I, I feel regret may be in the air one day. Maybe. I think there will be regret, but yeah, that's uh, maybe that's the look we should all be striving for in this this um, cyberpunk era, you know? <laughs> I did. <laughs> if I had 76k, I wouldn't be spending it to look like that. I'd be spending it to try and look like Mexican Iron Man, who is the ideal masculine figure in society today. That's a good point. Mexican yeah. Iron Man with a five dollar super chat. He says, "I think it's awful that seventy spent seventy k thousand to look like that." <laughs> I was Wait, just what? trying to look like uh, Mike. Really, I was trying to look like that. That's what Mike looks like after he's fallen out the window. In fact, I, I have a theory yeah. that it was Edward Longshanks was actually pushing Mike out of that window in the castle. Oh wow, I, that that's it. not. Good. Mike's a very masculine man. In fact, he he's been known to kick some ass. I actually got a clip here. Uh, Hail Mexican Iron Man! Thank you for the super chat. Where's that pinch at? Who is that? Who is that? Oh no! Mr. Airman! No! I got one of the airmen! I keep on! I keep on! Oh, there she is! Look, it's Piper! <laughs> Which one God. is Piper? Well, there she that, is, yes. Yes, that, that was, well, my co host. She's right here in the chat. Everybody say hello to Piper. She's actually still healing up. Uh, from uh, surgery, so um, we're showing her lots of love. And wasn't seventy six thousand dollars worth of surgery, was it? I uh, no, 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 good God, no. no. Um, in fact, um, she looks exactly the same after surgery. Thank God, because um, I, I didn't see. want her to lose a thing. If you know what I'm saying. Mm. Yeah, well, to get adding those extra inches is important. Right, right, yes, yes. and yes. don't lose any weight, Piper. We like you just the way you are. So um, I, I know you're bedridden and everything, but uh, eat healthy and stay healthy and, mm. and get back to the show soon. Cause we get better show. soon, Piper. Yeah, I get well no. soon. Yeah. But uh, no, uh, I guess you'll do for now, 70s. Um, so, so Mexican Iron Man had, a, had some surgery recently too, didn't he? Was it, he had a strapidectomy? I heard about that. Yeah. Yes. Well, he also had a rare case of gonoherphocephalates. <laughs> That's right, which is, is, is uncurable. Well, we we gave him a biological vasectomy. Um, that seemed to at least slow it down. A scrotomectomy? Scrotomectomy? Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we got another guest. Let's bring on our good friend, the one and only, Brandon the Anime Guy. Brandon. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Rescue the show, Brandon. Rescue the show. Gentlemen, <laughs> it is good to see you. It is good to have you here, 70s, to absolutely make a mockery of Mexican Iron Man because it's so easy to do. When you chase the married women, that's the price that you pay. I'm sorry, Mike. That's just the way it rolls. You got to be careful about the MILFs that you're, uh, that you're trying to go up against oh, and indeed. bump uglies with. 
if if Mike if Mikey is is past it now with chasing the the women, does that mean he's a has been? <laughs> a has been. That's good. That's fun. Here to defend himself, but um, I'll try to do the best Mexican Iron Man impression I can right now. <clears throat> You stop that right now, 70s fan. You stop that. Simmer down there. Just simmer down. Simmer down. <laughs> I, he's, he help, help, I'm being oppressed. Yes, the weebs are representing. I've got my weeb shirt on tonight. So you got your Dallas Stars. I've got my oh. Hunter Hunter shirt. Oh, nice. Right. Well, yeah. I got my uh, Trunk 3PO shirt on as usual because I never change <laughs> and never wash. But uh, no, I got my Drunk 3PO t shirt on and we're you actually promoting. Wash? Holy crap. He uses a carpet cleaner. <laughs> they, just, they spray me down with Lysol once in a while. It's cool. Uh, they send you to no, the car wash? I, well, that happened once and I got stuck. <laughs> so it wasn't a good look. But uh, we are promoting his book uh, on this show, so make sure you, you hit that uh, link when you get a chance. It's right there pinned to the top of the comments. And uh, we're real proud of you, Drunk 3PO. He's been pushing this or talking about this stupid book for freaking four years now, man. And here it is happening. And it just goes to show, guys, if you got a dream, you can make it happen. You know, Absolutely. Yeah, and what was great, he was talking about it on Matt Fallball's show last night. We were on, and, and Jay popped on to that, and he said he, he doesn't particularly have a comics background or experience, but a lot of people extended a lot of help, and he's he's worked hard to to come up with this concept and get it all done. I think it's incredible to do from, from nothing. That's creativity, you know? I mean, I wish I could do something like that. It's, there, it's a reality now. You know, everything's in place. So good for him. Well, well, And the fact that he wants to be able to, you know, for underprivileged kids to get this and, you know, everyone to help with that. So that's, that's neat, you know? That is cool. That is cool. Yeah. That is awesome. So, so awesome. You know, so many, so many weird things going on. So many good things going on. It's sometimes hard to balance out the, uh, the good things in life with all the negativity going around. So I'm, this makes me happy to see, uh, to see Jay uh, kicking, you know, kicking well, ass, taking names and, and doing something, trying to make a positive impact. Yeah. And he is a positive guy. I know we can all get a little bit cynical in this youtube world but he's a very positive guy what uh, no <laughs> us be cynical whoa it's easy to slip into little, that but yeah. he's a positive guy trying to yes. do good in the world and i, I admire that greatly yeah. you know and, uh, and he's a good man for doing it uh, much yeah, and, much better man than me at times uh, when it goes to that because i when 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 the fucks start flying they really start flying from me so i apologize for the uh for the fucks that i'm about to give and the fucks that i won't give and all the fucks that go around so fuck you fuck 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 sorry i'm, I'm good Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much speaking of fuckity fuck uh big shout out to nico Glock. nico Last night, he uh, hooked up 24-7 on his GoFundMe, and um, we, we love this guy to death. He's, he's been a, a great contributor to uh, the connection and uh, people that, that are in need, and 24-7 almost got his GoFundMe all filled, so congratulations on that. And thank you once again, Nico Glog, for just being an awesome person. Uh, we love you, man. And Latino Slant in the house. Hell, Ooh, hey, Pauline. Hey, hey, hey Pauline. where are the white women at? Right. Well, <laughs> where are the hoes at? Scottamoosh. She's, she's in that? bed. Um, but maybe she'll be back soon. I do have saggy melons on her way. So that, that that's at least some hoes. Well, well, how about I do this? Jolly, you, you know what I'd like to see. So why don't I do this here? Jolly, you know what I like. Oh, no. Oh, he's, yes. I, he's the second us off one. Early. The second one is the one I prefer, actually. But uh, if you don't have it anymore, that's understandable because that uh, that is pushing pushing the boundaries of what uh, of what. Uh, uh, oh wait, she's no longer here. Mama Susan's out the door. No more Mama Susan. Hooray! Oh wait, we're being replaced with another asshole. Never mind. Oh, An even bigger asshole. An even bigger asshole. Yes, that seventy-six thousand dollars was spent on asshole surgery, and we're getting an even bigger one now. <laughs> Brandon with a five-dollar super chat <laughs> that he just said, and yes, I have at least one of the clips. I'm not sure if it's the one you want, but it's still pretty good. So here we go. Let's rock it for Brandon, booty style. Boot. Boot. One dollar. I think it's 
should see Mike in there. Me love you long time. so horny <laughs> yes yes i love that song i play that song every time i take my grandmother to church yeah and the other one you play when you take her to bingo oh, oh okay. that's right. <laughs> now, what can i say grandma is a two live fan mm-hmm. as she should be everyone should be a two live fan especially in this day and age where everything is so confusing we need to take a step back to a simpler time when men could be raunchy as fuck and the women were beautiful. Holy shit. Yeah, slow your twerk next time, Piper, for God's sake. Um, yeah, she and So it. you're muted. You're muted there. Am I? S- 70s, you're muted. Oh, 70s. There we go. It's probably just as well. We would have got banned for whatever. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's probably a good, good thing. I was pretty sure uh, I spotted Mike in there somewhere. He was hidden. Out the he window. Was, he was he was stuck. Yes, yes. Right. Um. So uh, <laughs> we do have a topic tonight. So I'm glad I have both you gentlemen here at the same time. Have you heard about this Picard uh, feller? I think he was on a Star oh, Trek show. News uh, Next Picard. Generation. Yeah, yeah, that's him. He's bald like you. He kind of looks like you, seventies actually. Engage. Bit. Maybe maybe not quite as handsome, but. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. At one point, that man was beautiful, but in this day and age, he is nothing short of just a pathetic old has been. Yeah, Professor that's Rex. being nice. It's Professor that's feeble. Rex. Oh, it's like, feeble. I, 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 like, it's a shame. I think Whoops. he's like the best Professor X ever. I, I love him as Professor X. Well, yeah, that's back before the woke mind virus completely destroyed what little credibility the man had left. Yeah. I mean, it's oh, not hard to understand the way he thinks the way he does because he is an English thespian. These <laughs> thespians tend to like to think the same and do the same things together. And they so, do like to, they do tend to have a a bit of a weird side to them. Yes. Well, do. while he is a great Shakespearean actor, yeah, I, yeah, that's where I draw it's the line. Better with to him. have loved than, than lost. Aha. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, Uh-oh. he's he's uh, yeah. These, these English stage actors. I mean, he was probably big pals with the Redgraves and people like that. They're all bonkers. They've always had uh, interesting political ideas. Ideas, but that doesn't excuse him for making a feeble show and making a joke of his own character. However, mm-hmm. I, if people love it, then they love it. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't detract from some of the stuff he's done in the past, like Excalibur, the movie Excalibur. He was. That's yeah. the first time I remember seeing him. He was oh, wow. He, well, I remember seeing him in uh, Dune. He really he really does play a great Gurney Halleck. Yeah, yeah. I, wow. He's a great he's a great actor. And for the most part, you know, up until I would probably say in the last few years, he, I would classify him as a decent human being also. But man, when when somebody like that goes off the rails, they really go off the deep end. They, they go, go they go all the uh, uh, Ohio off the rails if you he's catch the drift. Balls deep. Off the, off the rails. Yeah. Yeah. He left the reservation long time ago, yeah. completely checked out. And you got to so be careful. Went, you got to be careful go, with the soy. He didn't go full George Takai, did he? Pretty close. He might as well have. Well, no, George, George is militant. Mm. Whereas, uh, no, Patrick Stewart is just old. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, he does come that, that that English stage actor background. Yeah. Is, these people are not like normal people. No, no, they're <laughs> they not. You know, they hang out and wherever they hang out and whatever they believe, they're all pretty fucked up people. So, <laughs> well, well, speaking of fucked up guys, there's uh, I hate to put it like this, but I got a, I got friends that are mm-hmm. fighting with my other friends that mm-hmm. are YouTubers. Because some of them like this new Picard, mm-hmm. and others are sticking to their guns like, fuck that shit. What this reminds me of is Mandalorian. You know, when a bunch of us got on board with Mando, 
and Cara Dune and all that stuff. And then, then of course, we know what happened there. Disney turned mm-hmm. around and fucked us. So what makes us think they won't do it again, right? Exactly. Disney, you know, but still. I, yeah, I mean, I have no problem with people watching it and liking it, but um, it's not for me. I mean, there's, mm-hmm. there's, there's, we've seen what's what's come before. Anything new Trek uh, is is no Trek. Exactly. As far as I'm oh. concerned, but I have no problem with people watching it and enjoying it. I just I don't have the time to watch it, and I'm not particularly keen to say, "Oh, well, you did okay in that one. I'm going to give you a pass." It's like yeah. The Last of Us. Um, I loved the first game, no, but fuck naughty dog, and I'm not watching the show <laughs> no matter how good people say it is because I know where it's going to end up. That's right. Yep. Riddles are weird and fuck time. Naughty Dog. Yeah, exactly. why would I waste my time? Fuck Naughty Dog and fuck Gary yeah. Buckman. So the show may be great, and if people are enjoying it, that's fantastic. I'm glad you've got something to enjoy. I've got a list of things I want to watch, and that's I don't have time for anything else. So, Oh, I'm in the same I, boat. In yeah, fact, I, uh, it, well, I watched, I watched the first five episodes of it um, just on a binge. I was kind of bored one Saturday. Um but I'm completely neutral, just like with Star Trek here. I I didn't play the games. I have no idea. You know, first so I game just, was magnificent, Jolly. That's first what I heard. game was a piece of art. I loved it, uh, and it was emotional and uh, engaging, and you really felt for the characters. And you, the ending was a real hard hitting, emotional impact. And then they just mm. threw it all away. They ripped it up and threw it all away. Mm. So yep. fuck them. The mind virus of uh, Santa Monica, California, and the Santa yeah. Monica studio. Yeah. Fuck, Fuck Naughty Dog. dog. Yeah. Well, that, I think that'll be the continual theme for tonight with them. And as I said, I, my, my fucks to give have been plentiful when it goes to them and when it goes to, to Star Trek pew card, which I won't, even, I won't even refer to it as Star Trek because it really isn't. And I understand your position, Jolly. And I, I I appreciate it, and I'm I'm there with you too. Seventies. If if somebody wants to watch this thing Great, and enjoy yeah. it, that's fine. And my position when it goes to Star Trek is it died after 2005. Kurtzman and Company, Secret Hideout, Jar Jar Abrams, the Cinematic Antichrist. They can all they all suck complete and total ass and can lick my balls. There's yeah. no way in hell that I will that I will subject myself to giving them money just to shit on me. I don't give a damn how good this show is. Yeah. I really don't. Because at the end of the day, everything that preceded out of Kurtzman and company sucked. They told us to fuck off, we don't want you. And now they're trying to cr- crawl us back just enough to keep their license. Because their license is about up. They have completely and utterly decimated Paramount with this shit. So they had to do something, so they give it to Terry Metalis. But he himself, while he may be a nice guy, he has attacked the fans too. So you know what? I can't deal with him. I can't deal with any of that. Now, having said all that, I will not pay Paramount to see this. I have seen the first episode, just to fulfill that curiosity, just as uh, other people have. Oh, so you're you're pie curious. Pie is in Picard. Yeah, yeah, pie, pie curious. curious. Pie curious, nice. <laughs> and here's the verdict. It's dark, it's dingy, it's Kurtzman, fuck it. There's the nothing redeemable is, about it still. The lighting had, is if, bad, I've heard. Yeah. Hot take, if, folks. Hot take. if this was its own thing, if they had created their own brand new sci-fi show and wanted it to be this semi the half-assed dystopian nightmare fuel fine i could see it working for that but this is star trek star trek is not supposed to be the dark depressing everything sucks we are all it's not dystopian yeah it's not dystopian but they're continuing on with that idea that everything authority figure based from Star Trek sucks. Anything that came before it sucks. The complete and total disrespect of Picard as captain of the Enterprise. And then, of course, Riker is infuriating. No, no, that's not good. Um, no, it's this not. This is where Patrick Stewart is at fault because he could have said, I'm not doing that. He's but yeah. he's the one that's driven it that he's way. He's part of this Picard, problem. He yeah. is part of the problem. He could have yeah. said, I'm not treating Picard that way because that's not who he is. And he didn't. He, he went for it. Yeah. It uh, really he pisses me drove, off. Yeah, he apparently drove it in that direction himself. So um 
such a shame. But yeah, I mean, if other people want to watch it, great. That's fantastic. I, I, I'm not. I've got limited time left on the planet. And I'm, yeah, I'm and that's my watch problem. I'm, I love. I know that I'm past my half life, so I don't have yeah. the I don't have the wherewithal to be spending watching this. So now that I've seen this first episode, know exactly the tonal structure of how it's going to be. Mm. I'm not going to watch any more of it. I don't need to because I know exactly how it ends. It ends in tears yeah. and it ends with an absolute shit show. It doesn't feel That's... like it's going to really go. Where can it go now? I mean, straight to hell. Yeah, ah. where, where <laughs> Already go? been there. Oh, if, if this had been the kickoff of New Trek, maybe then we would have said, okay, this is fine. Yeah. We'll give it a try. But it's not. It's the end point. So, you know, I. Yeah. Uh, I, I got, like I said, I got the same feeling like I did with Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. I think people are just caught up in some nostalgia, and uh, it'll trickle out. Uh, by the way, awesome one, maybe, maybe we're we're working on an Only Vans uh, T-shirt for um, Mexican <laughs> Iron Man at the moment. But uh, I I do have another super chat here. Uh, it's from Memes of Destruction. He's with five bucks. He says, "Don't check Twitter," what, which means check Twitter? Twitter. Then it means exactly the opposite of what he said. What well, the? I know I should be wary. Oh. Still, I venture someplace <laughs> scary. Ghostly haunting, I turn loose. I swear that wasn't the Twitter I was checking. Oh. Hey guys, what's going on? Now, 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 Jolly, we must be wary of links on the internet. You never know where they might lead you to. How are we all doing? Yeah, <laughs> so seen how are links. You? It usually ends up with me shirtless. I, I, that's only happened on perhaps several occasions, but that's mm -hmm. totally okay because real men can be shirtless together. They that's did in ancient true. Greece. I'm just saying. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with oiling each other down as well. No, right. no, no. And my brother and I, we shaved each other's backs. It's hard to reach. That's right. I heard about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It the boys' shower was always a good place for, for butt slaps and, 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 and stupid titty jokes. But, uh, you know, I, I never had an issue uh, back then in school. You know, we just, we all went to the shower and washed our ass and put our clothes back on. And washed back somebody's school. ass. Yeah. So, right. so am, am I the only one that's well, ever done that? Yeah. ever been at a gymnasium or a gym where you paid up for a membership and stuff and like you'd have so, like a wise old gentleman that would come up and they just cock up their knee right after the shower and they start <laughs> telling you a tale and you're like now i have no problem with the story but it sir like it, it, wasn't there a song about that? It's like do your balls hang loose? Do they topple to and throw? Do you throw yeah. them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Oh, hi, Piper. Uh, yes, yes. Here's the thing. I do your balls hang low in rain or snow? <laughs> it's I, a temperature can make a difference. Apparently, it's one of the five fundamental uh, forces of but reality. Wasn't that Hank Azaria in a, a movie did that in the gym standing. Uh, what was it in that that uh, Simon Pegg movie? Run, Wait. run, fight boy, run. He stands in the gym in front of him naked. With his leg up on the, the bench. Now, it's... now was that hang low, sweet chariot? That was it. Slaps? Uh, well, you know, that's what we did in the locker room, man. After a good game, you know, the, the boys came in. Ah, good game. Ah, butt slap, right? Uh, no? Well, 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 no, it, it happened on there the was, football field. Yeah, there was, there was oh, nothing, uh, nothing uh, wholly inappropriate about it. It was just guys doing stupid we, guy shit. We you know, good well, game type shit. Well, were we sexually harassed? Stuff. Well, we weren't getting called homophobic and bigots and is and obes back then. You know, we were all cool together. Like everybody mm -hmm. on my team, we had different races and nobody really said anything. You nobody know, we cared. Just made, we made jokes at each other. Like we made white yeah. people jokes just as many as we made Mexican jokes and black people jokes. We made jokes all the time because it was funny. We Not made puppet jokes. Or racist. Yeah. No, well, no. Well, we well, 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 jolly, jolly. These are among your friends, like IRL and well, yeah. stuff, folks that you have relationships Team with. Mates. We Our all teammates. know that nobody would ever take anything out of context on the internet. Yeah, the towel snap. <laughs> yeah, the towel snap. The towel oh, snap of hell. Oh, but to I answer heard. your question, memes, yes. I, the gym that I used to go to a long time ago. Uh, yeah, there is always that one that would strike up the conversation, regardless of uh, their state of dress. <laughs> and no, it's uh, not the not the prettiest sight to behold. 
right? Well, well, I mean, some people like it. I mean, as somebody that suffers from LGS, it's like, hey, I mean, it happens. It's a baby. You were born that way. Shout out mm -hmm. to the mother of all monsters. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Peter Venkman says it's all good till that happens in the girls' locker room. Wait, exactly. What? Oh, no. Well, you know, I was oh. short-sighted, so it was hard to read those signs. I'm allowed in the uh, girls' locker room just as long as I identify as a female for a few minutes, right? Yeah. As somebody, yeah, that had to clean out, as somebody that had to clean out the locker rooms at the end of the month, the men's locker room, it was scary. The women's locker room terrified me. Terrified. At least I could identify most of the things in the guys' locker room. Well, and the women's locker room, I'm like, I don't even know what this is. I'm right, so I mean, scared. So I apologize right. for my sexism, but I'm just like, I, I don't I don't understand. Because I remember memes going accidentally going into the girls' locker room at high school, and there was an awful lot of screaming and fainting. And that was me. <laughs> I mean, they had to carry me out. I mean... <laughs> Oh. I, I, I'm trying to imagine having a a, a, of a JJ right now, and that sounds painful. Pipes, I'm sorry. Right. Um, go on. Mm -hmm. I have one. I keep it in a jar on my desk here. Oh, that's nice uh, for for <laughs> maybe uh, science and and further experimentation. Yeah. I do understand that you know when you got a lot of Viagra going through your veins, you gotta gotta do what a man's gotta do. Um, oh, you gotta mainline that stuff. Right. Right. I, I think I've been playing with stuff more. It's hard to find hard to find the veins after a while. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> we also got uh, a brand new uh, hottie break. Uh, I want to play for you guys. We we premiered it on the birthday stream, but we haven't played it since. And um, well, I figure it's about that time. So maybe go ahead and unzip your pants, uh, grab your lotion. And enjoy Wait the view. a minute! You know damn well no one's wearing pants right now. Oh, well, I was talking to the chat. All right, no comment. Right. <laughs> Wait, All people right. in the chat are wearing pants. What the hell's wrong I, with everybody? What's wrong with them? Yeah. Well, there's a couple new ones here. We just got to remind them. We'll see you on the other side. Go, go. Man, I got all the flavor bitches say I'm delicious. I'ma have all you motherfuckers laying at this. I'ma kill all you rappers, I'ma aim with precision. They was rocking with your ass till they made a decision. All my friends making mans cause they know I'm a bitch. A lot of entertainers crash out to see the collision. That's it to make the money, I was great at the fish. I finna take all your food and I'ma eat up the dish. Hey, everything up off the table, I'm starving. Huh. See a nigga ball, Steve Harvey. Huh. Falling off the dome, no Sharpie. Huh. Working out, looking like a Barbie. Yeah. Better not red boy like Cardi. Huh. Yo, watch it get smoked by Marley. Huh. This ain't no game, no Atari. Huh. Man, we were bad like a Tony Dog. One, two, three, still pro with the neck. Wait. One, two, three, four, hopping on the chat. Touchdown, NY, John on the way. Ooh. Brown skin, lights, cause she woke up today. Since I fly a lot, fur tell Jacob that I need a watch. You know the ones with the color ice drops. Yeah, money taking bets. Check my material on Halloween. I got all the flavor bitches say I'm delicious. I'ma have all you motherfuckers laying at this. I'ma kill all you rappers, I'ma aim with Decision. They was rocking with your ass till they made a decision. All my friends making mans cause they know I'm a bitch. A lot of entertainers crash out to see the collision. That's it to make the money, I was great at the fish. I finna take all your food and I'ma eat up the dish. Huh? Just got the keys to the mansion. Huh? Famous like Chris Brown dancing. Huh? Wonder why my bitch catch a tantrum. Huh? Man, I got the golf course landing. Huh? IJ House on New Year. Huh? Then he got the whole crew here. Huh? Cool live, make him get his shoes here. Huh? Smoke him if you got him. <gasps> Puff! Hey. Puff, you dragon bastard, you. What are you doing? <coughs> Puff! Oh, Puff! No. Oh. Hey, man. Welcome back to the Puff and Stuff show. Got Where's any weed? Words? Got any weed? Hey. Puff, yeah. over here. Uh, Puff, do you remember the 70s? Pass. Pass. Uh, pass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What about them do you remember? Um, I don't know. I was only alive for like two years of them, so. Uh, Wh what? So you're an ageist then. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> We're talking dragon years, right? Uh, here, well, I saw memes with here, and he brought some smoke, man. So I was like, it must be time to get high. I don't oh, know. oh, yeah, yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Under the table. Under the table. Under the table. Under the table. Any particular yeah. strain? Puff that you're uh, enjoying right now? Doesn't matter. I'll smoke it all. <laughs> well, puff him if you oh, got him. Smoke Dunlop. 
I think some of my friends, they got in trouble at a car wash. They were doing a burnout. The police got them on camera. They're like, remove like the 20 feet of rubber you have there. They threw in plastic bags. And then some kids at the mall, they came up to us because we looked sketchy and we were older. And they're like, you, you got any butt? It's like, I have something better. It's called Dunlop. They sold the tire <laughs> things. They smoked and they came back and they're like, dude, that shit was harsh. He's like, dude, I smoke like a bag of that a day. He went through a lot of tires. <laughs> I apologize for literally it's being there for the poisoning of the youth. I'm going to hell. <laughs> no. No. Smoke a tire if you got him. <laughs> yeah. Puff, are you going to pass the duchy from the left hand side or what? I think that's a good idea. We should definitely smoke. Um, oh, yeah. I wanted to show you guys something. Hang on. So we just got a new shipment in. Check it out. What'd you get? You guys, you guys like what we got? You guys like tie dye? Yeah. Whoa. I like a tie dye. We just got some more tie dye shirts in. Team Puff. Yeah. Team Puff. Whoa. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, sideways. Hang on. Were were, were you on LSD when they took that picture? Yeah. All I could hear was Inagada da Vida. <laughs> there it is, man. You guys want one? Yeah. I want two. Oh, Hell you gotta, yeah. You gotta be a member. I'd like one oh. to go with my puff cup. See? Oh wow, oh, look at that guy. If you got a cup with me, my face. Come in cups now. Some people do, obviously. <laughs> there, there, there was two girls that did it once. Oh, wait, wait was that with the cup or the mason jar? Does Mike I don't think it mattered because it was disgusting either way. Yeah. Oh, that was Mike. Does Mike oh, Roach have a cup? Does Mike Roach have a cup? He's got like jars of Vaseline. Does that count? Does he wear a cup? Yes. Um, sometimes it depends. As long as it's got suction. <laughs> Dude, suction cups are awesome. XX Mrs. Meme, she had some. They were for like therapeutic massage and stuff. And then I think we had kind of broken up, but she fell asleep in my bed. She may or may not have had narcolepsy. And, and I stuck one of the suction cup things to her butt, and then I took a picture. And I showed and her it. Leave a I big purple bruise, wouldn't it? No, no, no. She woke up after a little bit. Now, well, since uh, like... since we've talked a little bit of Star Trek, I. Someone shared this uh, this beautiful meme, and I had to reshare it. And so far, it's been getting uh, some some awfully uh, awfully inquisitive questions, and uh, and that. So, Puff, oh yes, there you go. You're welcome. Is that the new Star Trek show? No, is, it, it could it, have been. It, it, is a Tribble Leela's pet from Family Guy or Futurama <laughs> or whatever that Fox show was? I don't know, man. I heard it looks like a roast beef sandwich. Well, in this case, it would be a, a roast beef sandwich covered in fur. It's a Marvel's poster, I believe. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. A purple is oh, like yeah. a wrap. It has ice cream and stuff, and it's all stirred up, and I think they had candy to it. Sounds like a tasty snack. Don't tell Fizz. Marvels. Is that a tribble? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Galron, how I laugh hugger. at It's a face hugger. The tribbles. Yeah. Sounds like scribbles. <laughs> oh, it's a penis joke. I see what you did there. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh, no, it's got a penis? See, you can't tell these days, guys. God damn it. I don't think it has a penis, but... Uh... Oh, that, that text was in the other... In the other... I thought it yes. was reverse. I'm sorry, I'm wearing sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, yeah, you, know you gotta... You gotta love the the mashups when they occur between uh, an iconic uh, uh, a flashing scene and uh, and Star Trek. <laughs> Just remember, if you're gonna rub the tribble, rub it nicely. And I just got tuck and roll there. Oh, for a second. I thought that was me that did that. My, my bad. I, I, I went to hit the booty break button again and I got excited. Sorry. Sorry, anime guy. Well, after seeing that, uh, we probably do need a booty break. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. I, I got you guys covered. I got you guys covered. Here we go. Here's, here's a quick booty break. Oh, you got something here? Okay, let's check it out. 
What the fuck? You're welcome. No. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no. no. We're not welcome at all. No. You're welcome. You know that's terrible. Marvels, man. That's terrible you, you, you when... You know, I go straight Freudian. <laughs> you know it's bad when the uh, the super skinny dude, who's in good... I will admit, he's in good shape, has more of an ass than Brie Larson, the plank would. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Damn it, memes. I, didn't, <laughs> I did need to see that tonight, because that was funny, but oh, I didn't need to see that tonight either, because it was Brie Larson. Oh, it's be flattering. Here, we'll fix it. I got another clip here. More here flattering. we go. <laughs> oh, no. That's a little something I'm working on for the, uh, the for comics division for the G laws. <laughs> yes. It's supposed to be Jennifer Lo Lawrence's face on that, but it's, it's it's a little far away. But I think Mad being a is, is, no, let absolutely me take that. that was gross, man. I don't ever want to see that again. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't see it. Yeah, look away. <laughs> oh, it's too late. There look away. Started. I'm hideous. Oh man! Well, wow. we're gonna have to do something better than that, guys. Let's see here. I'm sure I got a clip for you that you might like. Let's see. Gotta entertain the people, Puff. Yeah, what does the people want to see? Well, you Puff's guys basically a song and dance man at heart. Yeah, man. Let's see, I got a. Um... Oh, you guys like hot chicks? I got one here. Here she is. I am a nasty woman. Hot yes, as in yes, like 104 is. degrees. Does, does she have the like the really pointy cone brazier still? Mm. I'm not sure. Yes, it's pointing the cone. The points point inwards. Oh no 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 no! Like like when I think of Madonna, I don't know. I I apologize for my uh, massage and whatever. I <laughs> uh, that's what I think of. I'm sorry. I'm a perv. Ah, you see, that wasn't Madonna. That was Brie Larson. No, no, no. It was J Law. No, it was J Law. No, she, she was butt swapped with uh, Toby Maguire. Oh, that one. Oh, we're still mm. back there. Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, regardless, Toby's probably still more attractive. It's nicer feet. He's, he is a pretty man. Yeah, he is a very pretty guy. Okay, he used to show. have fun in the showers, I believe. Here it is, guys. Ready? Booty break. Well, sure. Come on in. Mr. Slave is right over here. Ah! Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ! Consent matters. Damn it. That it does. Safe words are useful. <laughs> Just never saying. leave your friend. Never leave your friends hanging like that. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. Oh. I keep pressing the wrong button. I'll find it. I promise. It's here somewhere. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Well, I gotta yeah. let you go. Some. 70s fan. I have has, to slip out. We got to tuck and roll someone. Huh? That was said. good to see you, 70s. Yeah, it was good to be here, guys. Enjoy the rest of your show. I've got to go over and head, head out and prep for my hockey show at 10 o'clock so, or 10 Mountain Time. Oh, you're going to put pads on and everything. Cool. I am, yes. yes I'm going to um, get crush, crushed ice, you know. Well, don't, I'm going to put the cup on. Don't, don't worry, 70s. We got the check coming over to your show. Board, boredom and bubbling. Boredom and, and bolero. Baloney and bobblehead. Baloney and boredom. <laughs> how how dare you actually split your life up into different stuff and things and not pretend one thing is the be-all, end-all. I have compartments, many compartments. That's why you're chill. Yeah. So see you guys. Subscribe Take care, 70s. 70s Good to see you. Tug roll. Thanks for taking me to the doctor. Here we are. Come on, anyway, tuck and roll, Grandma, tuck and roll. Huh? Promise to thunk. If you make it, tuck and roll. I promise to thunk. If you make it, tuck and roll. Elder abuse is wrong. <laughs> yes, yeah. it is wrong. But yet that was so right. And uh <laughs> No grandma's we'll him again soon, this episode. Man. Don't worry because we'll we'll go over to his show when this one ends. 
Absolutely. Well, if you'd like to talk hockey and uh, talk with the hosers about it, then yeah, absolutely. Oh, Wait, hockey what? is awesome. I got kicked out of a hockey game once for like blowing a straw. <laughs> I blew a straw and went over the thing and then I kicked against out or something. They weren't too happy. I, I thought it was so with about hair products. I, I, I mean, maybe. I don't know if he's sponsored or not. I mean, like, it happens. I don't know, man. Makes sense, though, you know. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, best shampoo and stuff. I got oh. a tweet about a lot of things. So, uh, Puff, will, will you do me a quick flavor and uh, and show me what I've got a tweet about? The fuck is this? The fuck is that? The fuck are those? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Master? Hold on, I need to tweet about this. <laughs> I need to tweet about this. And I oh, do man. need to tweet about a lot of things. And I'm going to tweet my way on out of here and tuck and roll myself. Tuck and roll, everybody. Have a great night. And uh, memes, it's always good to see you. And go break the, go break the dimension and, uh, uh, for God's sake, flush Pucard down the shitter. Take care, everybody. Peace out, brother. This one here is turn belly up. Hey, you. Uh. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Shit. The bed on my head. Hey, 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 I promise. Holy oh, hell, fuck. I didn't mean to ask. We learned a lot tonight. Oh, and, and to Piper's comment in the chat. No, you don't seem to understand. We had this game. You would break the end off a straw. You would pull it out a little bit, and then you would blow. And our friends, we were always blowing them at each other. But mine always end up just shanking, going to the side, and one blow off. And the one time it actually blew off, it blew off perfectly. Went over the thing onto the official hockey rig, so I own something and in 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 authorized object onto the hockey ice. So we were ejected. I have no idea what you're talking about, man. Well, I need don't much of the time anyway, so what about the same. Hey, Claude's here. Hey, Claude. Oh, welcome. Yeah, All right, so where was I? So everybody is, left. I is think the show I was... over. I see. I thought no. we were done or something. Oh, that's right. There's other stuff. In the... You said that Miss Melons was coming. That's what the original tweet was about. I think so. Can... I, I mean, we can watch that in the meantime, but it's a little passe now. She might have got lost. I, I, we'll see. Oh, I, that maybe, happens. Maybe I got to play some melons to make, make her appear. That's what it is. Let's see here. Oh, I know. I think I got a booby break. Let's see. I got to press the right, right button, though. I'm looking straight at it. Let's see. It wasn't right. as fun. We didn't want to get it messy in the bathroom. Wait, what? There it is. What? No karaoke, bitch. Fill the beat in your seat, down to your toes. Fuck your flow from the snow, bitch, tuck and roll. No ho shit, I fuck boys at the show. And if you bitch on the bullshit, tuck and roll. Shit drops, come fuck with the snow. Kick rocks, tuck and roll. No, bitch, I wasn't glad to meet you. Hit the dough, tuck and roll. I promise to bump the whole bump if we make it tuck and roll. This shit makes it smooth just like Bisquick. Now dip shit, so we're trying to get with this dick. Put a tell my rhyme so you can wipe off the lipstick. This is an ass. What <coughs> the hell's going on here? There's, God, this place stinks like weed smoke. Jesus. What? Ugh. What the hell happened? Oh, there's like a wormhole. We're entangled or something. Oh, I see what you did there, sir. Well played. Uh, wait a minute. Wait. Okay, so when I left, we had more guests and now i'm back and it's just you and the dragon smoking weed and what what happened to the show i i, I you left us in charge what the heck did you think was going to happen 
You so, left literally two scalies in charge. What is wrong with you? Where is Mr. Snow? Oh, boy. Oh, Mr. Cool, I see. Drugs are bad. Short-term hey, memory loss is totally a thing. I'm not a doctor. It snowed the other day, so he wanted to go outside and absorb himself or something. I, I don't know. Some weird shit that snowmen do, I guess. Uh, roll, he likes to roll around in it for some reason. I, especially with his mm -hmm. snowballs. He said he had to dip his snowballs in the snow. Well, to well, well, wait wait a second. Him. Did did he roll into Freddy? Because Freddy and Abominable Snowmen... I, wait, are they the same thing? I Maybe. Does snow turn into hair or hair into snow? If you roll like a furry enough thing in the snow, it'll start to get like some armor and stuff. Dude, there was a sheep that got attacked by a wolf. It was like a feral sheep. Like it was on its own for like 19 years. Wolves attacked it. Its fur was like so mad and it was like armor. I'm like, is that what happens if you stack a whole bunch of plus one cloth shirts on yourself enough times? I've seen that movie. It was with Liam Neeson. Oh, well, some say he is a goat. Yeah, uh, no, I think it was the gray, not the goat, but it's pretty good. I liked it. I, I, all I know is he has a particular set of skills. It, it seems to be like hunting people that do bad things, the things he likes. Well, he fucked up because he actually said that there's too many uh, Star Wars shows now, and it's making Star Wars not as cool. Uh, he's a little late to the to the party on that, I think, but it's nice to see that he's coming around. Well, wait, no, no, he, he he was in the Star Wars. Gator's not here. Right. It's not as fun. All right, that's a good point. Uh, well, what about the Star Trek? Or, uh, did you watch that Picard show or whatever? I I, I watched, like, one episode. I mean, like, if you're looking for things to be angry about, yeah, you can totally point out whatever and everything. But I'm just like, I don't, I don't want, I mean, I really just watch Deep Space Nine mostly just because I enjoy Deep Space Nine. I don't know. I seem to be a space station type of guy. That may or may not exist right now. There are some international ones and a whole bunch of things. Oh, hi, Miss Melons. Yeah, no, oh. she, uh, speaking of deep space, uh, she's stuck in one right now, I think. Uh, some kind of space continuum. Um, but she said she was going to stop by the show. I just, uh, I don't know how to... Oh, to oh no, no, space. Elon Musk sucked her in and everything. He's taking her money, so she's she's doing the clout thing on Twitter. I mean, no, she's fine. I have no idea what the space is, Miss Melons. I apologize, but it's I, I, I've been in, like, one of those before. It's it's interesting. It's like Clubhouse, except on Twitter. Is it? Well, all right. Well, disengage the warp drive, Saggy. Press press the button or something. Tell anyway. her your, tell everybody your friends who are puppets are summoning you. Hmm. Yeah, no, we ain't got it forever, you know. The show's got to wrap up at some point, so I hope she gets out of there. But uh, that's okay. We still got Piper we in the chat. We need some ladies. Mm -hmm. No, it's fine. We got ladies in the chat. Uh, I think Mariella might still be awake. But uh, I did look at my statistics, and I'm up. I, I, I'm up to uh, almost 30% women watching the show. God, I really? don't know why. Yeah, it's crazy. It, it, well, no, no, no. Well, number one, Jolly, you are a very handsome puppet. That's true. Number two, you are quite entertaining. You have a very large group of eclectic guests and different puppets that go on. You literally blur the lines of reality, and you put on a good show. And I got a very large... Well, well you know. I, I mean, it's... I, I, of... LGS is a thing, man. It's like right. you get stuff stuck somewhere. It's like I keep on getting pulled over in the same terminal at Hollywood International oh. Airport and everything. It's like you go through the little scanner thing, and it's like... Sir, we've it. detected an anomaly. Where? I found, I found In your it. pants and hanging to the left. It's like, no, oh, okay, here's the pat down. No, and I found it, memes. It's right here. It, it, the warp drive continuum space opening device setup continuous button thing. No, no, it's not. No. There it is. Oh. It worked. I, I tech. I'm technically still in the space, as I just had to say. I'll be How right back. How dare you moonlight? Hi, Miss Collins. Hi, Miss Collins. Well, what, what is the spaces right, so for the ones that don't know at home? Okay, I, so twi Twitter Spaces is basically like streaming, but on oh. Twitter. So it's like a podcast. But uh, yeah, we have we started something and it kind of blew up. And so everyone's talking about it. So Imagine my, my shock. Friend, me and my what? friend started something. Probably Star what? Trek. What have you done? Nothing bad. I, for once, it's not bad. So I don't know if you guys had heard. Well, wait, what are we talking about? I don't want to derail. 
Oh, we don't really talk about anything when memes is here. I, 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 I okay. was, I was filleting uh, Jolly's ego. Mm -hmm. So you know, you know how uh, I don't know how much information you guys have been following the DC stuff. Go uh, on. Kind of. Oh, you're talking about that hollow uh, whatever, dude. Yeah, and the so, uh, so Batman Three is just coming out. Yeah, so so you know how uh, I don't know if you saw, but there was a hashtag trending, a movement uh, for people trying to petition for. Uh, uh, them to sell a certain movie that came out a few years ago, sell the properties, the IPs to Netflix so that that director could finish their little universe. And we all know oh. it's stupid because it's like financially, business-wise, it doesn't seem sound. So there's been a lot of pushback. So me and uh, my friend decided like about two hours ago, we're like, hey, you want to create our own movement hashtag? And uh, yeah, I said, sure. So I came up with the hashtag, uh, we run with gun. And uh, James Gunn actually liked the hashtag. On Twitter, he liked it. So uh, and now oh, everyone's, nice. uh, yeah, it's blowing up. It's 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 everyone's in space is now talking about it, fighting. And I'm like, James Gunn likes something we started. That's cool. We wait, wait, wait. How how dare you try to have like a positive movement to help influence the properties you love? I well, know. How dare I? Because we were tired of the toxicity. You know, we talk about movie products all the time. We argue about. It. I'm like, you know what? Why don't we just support DC? and hope that this isn't going to be complete ass and no. maybe you know maybe something good will come of it so you know why 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 just be toxic all the time i don't know i i don't understand i don't really care i'm more of a marvel than a dc guy but i do want to see good dc movies just like anybody else right i right. mean that's well, you know what's go on that's well you know what's funny well you know what's funny is i never was even big into dc movies like the tv shows were okay but the movies were trash right yeah, ever right since on. uh the the, the animated so, series yeah. they had the best animated se they did the batman the they animated do. series superman it was so good it was i think so it was really good. expensive to make though right but you know what those are like the glory days of dc it was like the, the 90s the animated shows were amazing then you got the justice league cartoon and the teen titans right. cartoons they were amazing but the movies aside from batman because batman movies killed it right like tim burton's batman was really good um and i i wasn't the biggest fan of like christian bale's batman i'm not gonna lie oh but well we got a, a christian bale's well. best batman welcome shellback oh. uh, welcome, to shellback. The welcome sir i All heard right. you had some nice juicy melons uh, well, memes is oh, here. Memes has been thank here. You. I don't think so. I, uh, yeah. Not that really. Gun sucks it's too, says Piper. It's kind of flat and furry, to be honest. Uh, hey, we're people was he too. Was he talking to me? What? Oh, furry or scaly? Both, oh. both subsects different. Oh, well, same fandom, more or less. I mean, I don't know, guys. I see you all in the chat. Listen. I had no faith in Peacemaker. I thought Peacemaker was going to be crap because I didn't even know who Peacemaker was. And apparently a lot of people liked it. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then I John like Cena. Okay. Well, I don't I don't even like John Cena. I don't think he's a good actor at all. I liked his rap music back in the day. Don't 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 mock me, but it was kind of cool. Wait, he had music? He made a full album. He actually has some good songs on it, believe it or not. <laughs> Are you serious? I would have never guessed you not. that. I, shit you I, down. Ha yeah. I have to go look for it. He is a fellow mass hole, Miss Melons. He can spit some rhymes. Not really my thing, but the man can right. spit some rhymes. He's I mean, yeah. okay. I mean, I have to check it out. But I don't think that. I think that people. Uh, we spend too much time, and I've, I'm one to talk because I'm toxic. You know, memes. Memes is always calling me out for my toxicity. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take a page from memes book and say, you know what? If we're instead of fighting people on the interwebs all the time, which I'll still do when it's convenient for me. Um, I'm going to just spread some positivity and hope that uh, that gets people, you know, excited for something. Well, you know, John Cena, John Cena is also yeah, we know. a uh, women's wear model. Um, a what? A, a oh, that's seen that. Wear model. Yeah, there's a picture going yeah. around where he's wearing a skirt and makeup. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh, I saw that. I cropped it where you see his legs and you could. It was funny because they'll never know because he has some nice legs for a guy. But yes, well, he he does work he does out. squats. Now, to hold on, Miss Melons, can you confirm or deny gal underwear is more comfortable? What is it? Ladies underwear is softer. Yeah, it is true. Well, it's meant to be true because our, our parts. 
Well, yeah, man, a man's part says needs to be, you know, gentle too. Yeah. I mean, come on now. I mean, yeah, no, 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 like... no, 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 jolly, jolly. A man's ports need to be supported. Well, that's true, but you don't want oh, sandpaper man. rubbing down on the top of that thing. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. I mean, it's. I mean, I've I've worn boxes. Boxes are comfy. You see, your sensitive parts are all tucked into the roast beef sandwich stuff. Ours is right there at the tip, especially if you've been circumcised. Yeah. Yeah, but ours are also more subjected to bacteria and stuff, so. Well, it's not my fault they don't wash. Oh, in indoor plumbing, outdoor <laughs> plumbing, depending <laughs> on what type of spigots you may or may have. I mean, it's like topology and stuff. Great. I mean, overall, I mean, it, I think that the panties are, are meant to be softer for our lady parts, but I, I think boxers are also comfortable. I like I, I think, No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I believe it was Michael. So no, no, no. It was Michael Jordan, I believe, who is now 60 years old, apparently. I believe he once said the most important question is, is it Haynes? Mm. Oh, that's a yeah, good Haynes question. Haynes is a good product. You're more right. excited for the Mario movie? Mario, let's go. I'm not. not dude, not it looks yeah. good. It looks. It, dude, they came out with a good. thing. They used the original song from like the animated and live action series. I do. I gave them like plus five to Team Mario Brothers for that. Did you well, guys I'm see actually, that? Uh, go ahead. I was gonna say, did you see the SNL skit with uh, Pedro Pascal? Uh, Pedro, uh, is it not Pascal? What the hell? Yes, is that was funny. No, you're that right. was Pedro great. Pascal, yeah. That was hilarious, and I'm like, I kind of want this to be. <laughs> That was good, actually. That was one of the better SNL skits I've seen in a long time. Yes, I cried laughing. I was like, this is what I want. I don't want it the animated CGI with Chris Pratt. I want this movie. Yeah. Could, Every once in a while, S SNL still can hit one out of the park. It's rare. Trust me, it's very rare. But every once hey, in a while. All I know is if they don't kill him, if, if they don't have Abby freaking smash his ass with a golf club in the live action uh like they did the video game um that's uh I'm, yeah, I'm, now, now, now show that if they didn't do that they'd be violating canon well everybody keeps talking about this cocaine bearer like it's going to be like the sleeper hit of the year that comes out next week yeah I, everyone's been talking about that elizabeth banks of all people Right? We got uh, Ray Liotta's last movie ever, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, I always liked him as an actor, so even if you're a fan of him, it's worth going to see, right? I mean, yes. um, well, it's his last movie. I mean, if yeah. Cocaine Bear is successful, um, then, uh, you know, hey, even a broken clock is right twice a day, so... Hey, right. Now, the movie I'm looking forward to the most out of the whole year... And I've been sticking by this ever since we started hearing about movies for 2023. And that's John Wick. This movie uh, franchise oh, has yeah. delivered. Every movie has been solid. Uh, enjoyed to watch it. You know, just a fun ride. Uh, good popcorn flick. And uh, I, for one, will be first in line to go check that one out. How about you guys? Uh, dude, I, I would like actually camp out for John Wick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I haven't I mean, seen you know... any of them. I've heard great things. <laughs> What? Wait, wait, no, no. It, it's Neo Cross get, with Bruce. Get the fuck it. Tuck, tuck it. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that was the first Just time I've ever actually been successfully tuck and rolled. Well played, yeah. sir. You set me up. Yep. That, that had to happen. Oh, Sorry. Man. Sorry, Mames. You need yeah, to go that, watch John Wick right fucking now. No, no, no. Like no right no, after but, the but, show ends. No, no. It, it, it's like OG, like, like uh, the Matrix 1 or like OG Matrix Neo crossed with Bruce Willis, basically. I mean, uh, I, th I think he ought to tuck and roll your ass a couple of more times just on I know, principle. Like, but... right? It's like, like he hasn't had enough, like an extra spanking. Uh, Random Brad's getting his laughs on. Random Brad's probably seen more tuck and rolls than any other person in the chat. Good to see you tonight, Random Brad. Tim's talking in the house, and he's been kicking ass. He's uh, almost to 2,000 subs. If you haven't seen Tim Talk's shorts... I know that's kind of taboo for us old timers, but his shorts are blazing. Like he is, he is just killing it in the shorts department. Congratulations, Tim Stock, and your cosplay shorts—they're awesome. Uh, let's see what else job. we got here. Yeah, no, he's he's, he's killing it. He's been like, uh, he, well, of course he does Kylo, but he also does uh, Superman, and he looks pretty good at that too. He's he's been he's been working out memes. He might be giving you a run for your money. 
and the whole oh, shirtless. No, no, no. I, I, I've been keeping an eye on on totally not Padawans. Mm. Some bromats going on here, maybe. What do you think? Don't don't, don't, don't forget Phil TMNT. He's a fellow turtle brother. It's his yeah. birthday today, actually. Uh, happy birthday, Phil. I don't know if he's listening, but happy birthday. See happy you. birthday. Nobody clipped that. I've seen it somewhere. Hmm? Oh, shit. Anyway, um, yeah, see, he's seen a lot. Brandon Bryant's seen a lot, man. He's been through the jungle, man. He was back there in Nam of the Cotton Connection, man. He, he smelled a lot of napalm and, and burnt, uh, burnt polyester, if you know what I mean. No comment. Oh, you want to know what movie I'm looking forward to? The White Dragon. Wait, what? It was uh, Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger. He passed away uh, oh. last year. And uh, not before they finished The White Dragon, basically his full feature release movie, which is it's really? not Power Rangers, but it's essentially Power Rangers. And uh, yeah, that's going to be coming out. And he did, uh, yeah. he did a lot of things on, what was it, Bad in the Sun Productions and stuff? Where they do those like fantasy like anime battles and stuff. It's like, what would happen if Batman faced Deadpool or something like that? And he actually went and played like the Green Ranger, the White Ranger, and stuff. So they actually put together a full length feature film. So I'm like, hey, pay tribute to to a man. Uh, yeah, I think left the uh, right. left a positive message. Oh, I like it. Uh, oh, and I'm not creative. Thank you, my friend. He says. 41 likes. Can we get nine more? That'd be awesome if we could hit 50 likes tonight. I'd appreciate that. And Give um, it to us. Don't forget to hit the link uh, before you leave tonight if you're popping in and out on the Tuck and Roll show. And check out Drunk 3PO's campaign. Just started. We've been pro yep. uh, pushing that. Uh, it, it, Shellback knows. He's been talking about this book for, what, four years? Uh, he said he was, yeah, he said he'd been working on it for about three. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yep. So it's finally here, um, guys. Go check it out. And he uh, he he set he set a, he set a modest goal um, of uh, of like ten you know ten k. Uh, I don't know how many copies, but you know the the uh, the Indiegogo uh, goal was for for ten k. Oh, he smashed he, that. He he, yeah. he blew past that. So. Yep. You know, hopefully, hopefully this is a a Ripa esque type of uh, situation where yes. you know he just, you know, I'd like to see him hit a, a you know, yeah. Well, I'd like to see him hit a hundred k on this because on oh, his stream yeah. he said if he hit a hundred k he'd probably have a, you know a small breakdown and we haven't seen drunk three PO crack and, and and have a good cry so maybe we can yeah. get him with a hundred K. Uh, but we'll keep oh, we're talking out. about Jay's comic book again, dude. He actually did that. Every, I remember he's yes. been talking yeah. about that thing forever. He's yeah. like, it's going to be about the color blue. And I'm like, oh, right. blue is totally the best yeah. flavor. Jay. Like so me. I'm like, I totally so yeah. wait, it was 200 pages. That's like a yes. graphic novel. Exactly. Well, it is a graphic novel. Oh, right. <laughs> cool. Well, I, yeah. I only popped in and like set the super yeah. chat said hi and then left. I mean, it was going to well, be the links like right a... there in the chat. So check it yeah. out. Mm hmm. Mm. It was going to yeah. be a regular book. I think he originally intended it for it to be like a regular book, but then they it kind of morphed into a, a graphic novel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's um, it, it's good for it's good for all ages. I mean, you know, I've heard uh, I've heard some of the adults, you know, that have gotten the book um, that you know they 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 enjoyed reading it themselves. So I mean, it's not. Wow. It's not. It's not just for you know people who have kids. You know. Sure. It's, uh, so so not just really young or really. It was kind of like yeah. some of the old school Disney movies back in the day. Like a kid could enjoy it, but an adult could actually yeah. enjoy it as well. Yeah. So it's like, like I could see this movie with my kid. No, he Jay Jay uh, plays to a very very broad audience. No. Uh, the reason I like him. It's, uh, you know, it's actually um, for a good cause, one of the tiers. Um, uh, there's donations that go out to uh, kids yeah. in need. I believe uh, yep. you could buy one book and one book gets donated to kids or like children's mm -hmm. libraries in Mexico or something like that. Um, but, you know, Drug 3PO, he's all around the world, always trying to help people out, doing his thing. Yeah. And Sean Estep says we got to give some love to Papa Cotton. Well, Papa Cotton always gets love on this channel because he's <laughs> diehard cotton for life. And uh, he's my favorite wrench as far as... Uh, as the muscle around here, no, nobody, nobody knows how to tear off some heads and kick some haters out of the chat, like my boy Papa Cotton. And uh, so you, you're the man, Papa. I don't know if you've made some 
some uh, content lately, but let us know. And you have a wrench. You can always drop your fucking channel and, and your shit right there in the chat, man. You know, so anyway. Papa is a savage. Can confirm. Right. Yeah, no, he's been, I would say Papa has probably been the, the wrench on my channel the longest. Him and Random Bread are probably my two oldest wrenches. I'd say three, four years now. Easy. Yeah. I just hit four years, guys. Uh, four years straight of Jolly being on YouTube. And I've actually gotten better looking over the years. Oh, happy yeah. birthday. You, you yeah. age like fine wine. I do. I do. Well, it, it helped. I got some $200 Oakleys from our boy, Nico Gluck. <laughs> <laughs> it does help. Right. So, yeah. Saggy, what's, what's been going on in your, your world? Uh, I want to give you a chance to plug your stuff and let them all know what you've been up to before you have to go back and kick more Snyder ass. Um, nothing really, just, you know, um, fighting the good fight as always, calling people out that deserve to be called out. Nothing new, nothing really new, just, you know, drama. But I think with this, uh, I'm actually really happy that this new hashtag thing and this new movement that we're doing is going to hopefully bring the fandoms more closer together and support each other. Because, again, we all just want the same thing. We want to be entertained. We want good entertainment. We want good movies. Um, and the best way to do that is to just be like optimistic, <laughs> you right. know, and at least hope for the best, expect the worst, but hope for the best. And that's all we can do because I, I, I mean, as much as I love drama and love fighting, it gets sometimes tiring having to repeat myself to the same people over and over again. So yeah, we're going to just yeah. do something new and uh, it should be fun for everybody. And uh, if you, if you guys want to be supportive and be part of a movement, that's actually getting the attention of the people that it is as opposed to, the other people using the hashtag that gets no traction other than nothing but hatred for it. Um, yeah, f feel free to just jump on and let me know because uh, it's going to be fun. That's a good point, Saggy, because that's kind of what this Tuck and Roll show is all about. See, um, the new Star Trek, I, I'm not a Star Trekkie. I never have been, won't admit that I ever was. And um, so I'm really on neutral ground, but I'm watching from the outside perspective of different YouTube channels that are fighting over this because some are enjoying it. And some are just pissed off of how they've been treated in the past and feel like it deserves no respect. Me, I always say, hey, if it's if they're doing better and giving you something that you actually want, then you need to praise it and give it love and show it respect because that's what we're fighting for, better content. So, I mean, if it's better content, then say it's better fucking content. Um, you don't have to watch it. You can still be pissed off at it, and you can still boycott it if you want, but for, don't be mad at the ones that are supporting it, especially if it's better than the garbage that they've been giving us. That's how I feel. I've, right. I've been I dragging mean... my feet on it. Right. I, I mean, the thing, the thing with entertainment, why people get mad is like you're it's basically an argument between the old versus the new. So you got the old fans who've been there for a long time. Um, and, and I always say this and I understand fans criticisms of, of entertainment like you guys loved it back in its glory days. But the problem is, is that the, the studios know they have your money because you're hardcore fans. Whether you like it or not, you'll probably see it just so you could crap on it. But for the most part, they want to get new fans. They need new money because they already have the fans' money. So sometimes I think the problem that we see in entertainment with Disney, with all these properties that are so old, is that they're pandering too much to the general audience where the there needs to be a balance between uh, we need to do something for the fans and for the general audience to appreciate. And that's where these entertainment companies are failing is they're catering too much to the general audience instead of actually listening to some of the fans. And like, yeah, they'll throw some Easter eggs in there for the fans and throw you guys a bone, but they cater way too much to the general audience and they kind of lose that fan base a little bit. Yeah, you can, they're you, not you, even you, catering you even... to the general audience. They're catering to a niche freaking audience. Shellback. What do you fact, mean they're not catering, they're, they're to, catering the to the general audience? The least, the least common denominator is what they're trying to appeal to. Shellback. The general audience literally means people who don't even give a crap about the source material. <laughs> like Star Wars, for example. People to this day... 
like general audience doesn't know the extensive lore of Star Wars. So what they're catering to is what's the general audience. And I hate to say it, but this woke stuff is part of the general audience because the LGBTQ community and a lot of people of color and other ethnicities, they weren't hardcore Star Wars fans. So yeah, they will yep. try to pander too much to the general audience, which is where they suffer that's, because then the fans a... end up not getting what they want. That's like a fraction of a percent of the general audience, though. Right, but what, that's what I'm saying. When, when you say more... a fraction of a percent, like what are you talking about? Right. Like less than 1% of the audience. No, 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 but, but like good. what is less than 1%? Uh, 0. point something. No, 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 like <laughs> what do you mean by less than 1%? Like what, what is less than 1%? I don't know. I don't know what you're referring to. Well, while you do your math, uh, Bruce I, Lombardo... Yeah, he's confusing me now, too. So Bruce Lombardo <laughs> asks, uh, um, he says, 2019, I thought you were doing this since 2017. I've been doing the jolly thing since 2019, but uh, if you look here at the channel, uh, I started the channel back in 2011, and that's when I first started uploading my music. So uh, it's been around that long. But anyway, yeah. I, thought, I thought Bruce would find that interesting. So yeah, 2011. Was when I originally made this channel. Yeah. Damn. Oh, you're that old. I am. In fact, I'm gonna show you guys some really crazy shit. This is gonna blow your minds. And uh, since there's not that many people here except hardcore fans, uh, we're gonna have a little fun here, real quick. So um, check this out. You're gonna love this, Saggy. Um, we were supposed to do this on the birthday stream, but we didn't get around to it. So now I'll we'll do it since I just thought of it. So anyway, <clears throat> as you know, Snow Dub, the guy over here with his hand up my ass, he was a big Star Wars fan, and he always has been. And I'm going to prove it. Check this out. I present to you, Snow Dub. <laughs> wow, this is going to age me. Via 1982. Check out the Darth Vader shirt. And the Yoda puppet. What? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the heck was that, Shellback? Oh, you wanted to be a doctor. Uh, a proctologist. Maybe. Well, poss <laughs> Don't possibly. Don't Here's another. Here's another picture. Baby Snow oh, Dub oh. with Kermit. <laughs> yeah, 1982. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. Yeah. Star Wars, yeah. Yep, still have that to this yeah, day. That's an action Wars. figure holder. This is the one you all want to see. That's a big Vader. Oh, God, that picture. Oh, my God. <laughs> you were that's so me. young. That's Jolly when I first got back from Disneyland. I told you I was part of Pirates of the Caribbean. You, uh, you didn't have any facial hair back then, did you? No, I had the same mustache. It just oh, wasn't right. as thick, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Yep. It wasn't as no, thick. He, he, he grew the goatee. I grew the goatee, yep. And I got I got another eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> you got on. I had an eye patch back then, and obviously a pirate's hat. Yep. Skull and crossbones on it. There it is, the original uh, jolly picture with Snow Dead. So oh. there you go, a little blast from the past. You were adopted. What? You were adopted what? from Disney. Well, yeah. No, I, I actually made in the USA back when Disney bought stuff made in the USA. Now everything you buy at Disney says made in China. Yeah, China. a lot of stuff does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Way back in 1990. <sighs> I remember it like it was yesterday. They had just oh opened up God. that awesome new, that awesome ride, Splash Mountain. Hey, is that still around? No. Uh, no. Splash oh, Mountain it was the best ride at Disney World. It is, but it's not called Splash Mountain anymore. What? That was I, I the think, best ride ever. I think now it's the Princess and the Frog or something. No! Son of a! <laughs> wait, wait a second. They had frogs? I thought... Wait, people like frogs, right? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, the French do. I mean, they, so they, they, have some ta they, they do have some taste, tasty legs. They were pretty good. They were slathered in butter and garlic. Oh, God. 
Yeah, Somebody pointed out Snowdo was wearing the first mega hat ever in that picture. <laughs> it was <true>. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, I was it was pro Trump. He was a big fan of Home Alone too, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. The real kid before Snow Kid, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, uh, Piper said, Oh, oh, thanks, Piper. I guess I could have done the uh sound effect for that uh we were a little late to that i keep forgetting i even got sound effects but i do do you oh oh you got a stream deck (laughs) that's cool yeah i just always forget they're there you know i i can only do so much stuff with a strong hand yeah 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 it's apparently apparently uh the gamer nerd and gator they learn how to play games while in puppet mode Fascinating. Why is everybody nimble hands? Horse? Nimble hands. Quit saying horse. There's no horse here. <gasps> what the hell are they talking about? Down, oh. Down, down, Thank you. Mm. No, there's no horse. Down, down, horse took the night down, off. Thank God. Down, down. Ugh. Anyway, so uh, let's see here. Before we get out of here tonight. Um, of course, we got to plug Drunk 3PO's Notebook, so check that out. Um, we plug Saggy Millen's channel, so check that out. Um, Fluggy! And our new hashtag, uh, what was it again? Um, hashtag we run with gun. We run with gun. So check Saggy out on Twitter, maybe give it a retweet. I so, came up so, with it. So that made her kind of oh, cool. Oh, she's so proud of herself. Good job, Miss Mel. Because everyone job. likes it. And I thought, because he also, okay, hold on, real quick. The thing is, like, so RJ randomly hit me up, my friend RJ, and he was like, you know what will really tick off these people using this other <laughs> hashtag? And I'm, the horse. Um, I'm like, yeah. So he's like, we're going to come up with a hashtag. And I was like, oh, what can we do? And I said, ah, how about we run with gun? And he's like, oh, my God, I love it. We're doing it. And it's it's been, blo- it blew up. Like it, 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 it flows so well, and the thing is, whatever you do, just remember, it's, I, I mean, I never really was there for, like, release the Snyder Cut, hashtag release the Snyder Cut, but what was that? You had a lot of folks that a tragedy befell a director, he had to walk away from a project, it got taken in a completely different direction, but he was able to at least put something out there, because we already have a bunch of footage, let's spend the extra 80 million bucks, can come up with something great. He listens to the fans, why? There was a lot of positivity, it's like, release the Snyder Cut, it's like, you know what, the world, is, there's a lot of crap going along, how about we put out a good positive message, here's a dark tale, let's bring some folks together for fighting for a good cause. If you put that positivity into it, who knows what you might get out, like, you could literally be like an influencer for the future, I mean, what right. you, how you influence it, that, that's up to each and every one of us. Well, I, I mean, I love Second Amendment hashtags. Me too. So, yeah. Hashtag me too. Us free. Yeah. I mean, Means yeah. of Destruction with a $5 super chat. He says, oh, God damn it. You're welcome, Pipes. What the fuck, man? Rift Riders. Uh... Oh, God, here we go. about that clip wait who who is that again is that amaranth or something i don't know yeah amaranth amaranth oh yeah i i clicked on a stream once and <gasps> master peril damn I mean, it oh hell hell friend what the great oh god i'm 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 done i'm just gonna sit here in silence Puta. it is a peril de rover 
As you know, as you know, I have the greatest new camisa ever. I must show it to you. Oh, God. Mira. Mira. Yo, you got de la boca, puta. Silencio. Cállate, puta. Cállate, puta. Oh, God. What the hell is that? It's El Perro shirt. Son of a bitch. Oh, I didn't know you were white, El Perro. Get some appendages. That is my red rocket. It's just cold. Okay, so this is the Rotero <laughs> de Rover T-shirt. You buy it now. It'd be it a, actually, a, a, it's, it's very nice. You like it? It's actually kind of cute. <laughs> it's eh? actually kind of eh? cute. Yeah, it's actually no, kind of cute. No, it's supposed to be scary. No, it's cute. Uh, it's, uh, I kind of want that shirt now. Can I get it? Is it, is it be at the snowdub.com? Is it in store? Yeah, I want it. But how much is it? I don't know. We we're going to put the one up soon. Maybe tonight. I don't know. I, I want that shirt. See. Or you it's can cute. be a member because the member might win this shirt too. No, I'll just okay. buy it. I want to support the channel. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, then that is the all I need to tell you because this show sucks and it means the destruction got tucked out. What? What do you mean that it got tucked? I will beat you. He, is a, he has not been doing a very good job. I keep telling him to sabotage the channels, and he keeps failing me. I'm going to pop that other eye right out your head. What is this cute <laughs> puppy shirt? It is a it's cute puppy cute. shirt. It's cute. It's adorable. I want yeah. it. He looks up. Put you it back on like screen. I don't want to see. Cute, cute little, cute little El, El Para. Yeah, put the shirt back on the screen. Nobody wants to see you, El Perro. Put the cute, right. cute thing. I, I, I know I am a beautiful Perro. See? see no, no. Get the good. shirt. The shirt. I don't want to see your face. Uh, no. Look at, look at your corner. It's the, it's no, the no, corner no, of your screen. You the corner see? of the screen. I want to you see don't... the shirt. I don't want to see the logo. Put the shirt back up. No. So we don't have to see your You're, face. Uh, yeah, that, that shirt makes you look like the cutest little senorita ever. Senorita. Aww. You do not speak in Espanol. Senorita, calle de la boca, puta. Senorita, calle de la boca, puta. It's a record, Steve. I see you are a real hombre with your manorama show. You support the Mexican Iron Man. Pfft, unsubscribe. Don't you talk to Steve like that, you bad dog. Where's the newspaper? Where is it? I'm going to roll it up and I'm going to beat you like a bad dog that you are. Bad Come dog. On. Yes. Oh, there, finally, the henchman is here. I show you. I got the backup. Henchman, you get the saga melons. Greetings, Master Peril. How dare you, Miss Melons, try to bring people together. Don't you know? People must hate each other. Otherwise, how will we get all the clout? And we know we must get all the clout because then they get transferred into delicious super berries that we blow into our underground vodka, Master Peril. Let's see. What he said. We also kidnap people and hold them for ransom. See, si. and we on the internet. And sometimes we chop off your huevos. Si. Yes, yes. We all know the government can decide to do with your body what you do not want to do because they know good. You heard of El Chapo, see? Si. Now we Piper. Have Chapo. I love you, Piper. I hope you feel better, darling. Oh, the Piper Dormir. Oh, yeah, she does a Piper, see. Yeah, are you going to be nice to her? Muy bonita. No. But no, she I'm also not, talks about good things, so she is bad girl. I will choke the shit out of you. Go on. <laughs> I maybe nibble on her toes a bit. Wait, what? Just a little. A little we bit? Why like is... me toes. You it's have Piquito. said about OnlyFans, Miss Melons. We are very disappointed. Why, why is Bean even comment, here? Comment we are growing network of very sexy women on this internet of stuff and things. I, Master Peril, it is additional source of income for when we go to jail. See, no, Peril, I do not want to Peril, let me ask you a question. Did you, did you, did you pee on Bane down there? Did you urinate on him? 
No mas, I, I didn't have we to We do go. not talk about being fetishes on this show. You must go to Pornhub. No, 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 no. I'm only asking because that means you have no claim to him. So I'm going to pee on him. So he is now mine. Oh. Is this R. Kelly video or that a British guy that was on the music? <laughs> you you, you well, do not know the location. It is totally not in Mother Russia. I, <clears throat> this is disgusting. I, I don't, I don't, I, I do think I saw him uh, uh, humping his leg though. Uh, one, so. Oh, Shellback, really? Is that why yeah. Bane's working for El Paro? Because he got dry humped by the friggin' dog? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, do no. not hate on K9. El Paro is of age. Consent not us. Well, how old is El Paro? It is not dog matter, years. Right? See. Yeah, yeah. How many? Well, how old is El Perro, like in general? Like, see, two, el, no, see, somewhere in there. Does it till two, two years, three years? See, see, a cinco, cinco años, a tres. It doesn't matter. Did see. you lie to me? I am not viejo. Oh okay. no. Bane, oh, you're going to jail. President he's Putin three. will not like this. Oh, no. no. Awesome one says he's ninety-two. What? I claim what? asylum. I ah, we. This is this is the worst show ever. I can't believe this stupid Takaro show has almost been to 70 episodes. Why do these people still watch this garbage? El, hey, El Perro, um, is there a is there a puff shirt? Can you show us a puff shirt? No, Shellback, no. What? Shellback, no. What? Wait, are what? any of you feds? No, but Shellback, we're not doing the stupid puff shirt. We got the well, pupper I mean, shirt. He showed his shirt. I just wanted to know if there's other shirts. There are other shirts, but the newest well, one is the them. El Perro. What? Is well, see, yes, it's the El Perro Camisa. It's the greatest shirt they ever. Buy the Perro the Loco one. shirt. It is very good. I have not seen it, but it must be good because he is bad. I mean, it is a nice, it is a nice shirt. This it's so it. cute. Look, and it makes Peril look tolerable. And they didn't make yeah. him with the, would they take that picture before Mexican Iron Man popped your eye out? We don't have to talk about this. We cancel the show. Take it all. Turbo, tuck and roll. Tuck and roll when you land, kid. Ah! Tuck and roll, Theo. Tuck and roll. No, I'm not kidding. Tuck oh. and roll. Ah! And a special shout out. To my puppet from another Muppet, Snow Dub Music and Entertainment. We're gonna we're gonna close out this episode with this classic hit, Chuck and Roll. This ain't no karaoke, bitch. Feel the beat in his feet down to your toes. Fucking flow from the snow, bitch. Tuck and roll. No ho shit, I fuck boys at the show. And if you bitch on the bullshit, tuck and roll. Shit drops. Come fuck with the snow. Kick rocks. Tuck and roll. No, bitch. I wasn't glad to meet you. Hit the dough, tuck and roll. Bye, Felicia. Mm, mm, mm. Always gotta clean up everybody's mess. And, oh, every time after the tuck and roll show and... Oh, it did. Saggy. Oh, oh yeah, shit. My snowballs, hat? Are, my snowballs are showing. I did. Are we still oh, live? My... Yes, we are. Oh, what no. are you doing? Oh, what, what, Mr. Cool, come on. Oh, oh we're going to get canceled for sure. No, oh, no. So bald. It's so shiny. Why? Where's oh, your hat? I keep showing my snowballs on the show. Everybody's going to freak out. I, I'm so sorry about I this, mean, folks. I, I, I'm, more, I'm, I'm warming up to the balls. Oh, well, would you like to come over and try some? I mean, I'm not gonna say no. This one here is turned belly up. Hey, you. Uh, whoa, oh, 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 shit, the bed on my head. Hey, hey, come on, girl. I promise. Holy oh, hell, fuck. Oh, did you bring enough for the rest of the class? Uh, oh, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Just move it over here, big boy. Ooh. I'm, uh, I, I didn't Have you had that, your pizza today? I didn't know that we were going to be back on. I thought, I thought we were done. 
pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. When pizza's on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime.